Hello everybody, today we're going to unpack the GM550 infrared thermometer, take a close up look and test it out. So let's go ahead and open up the package. Okay, so we have the infrared thermometer here with a laser pointer. Let's open up the package. So it comes with an instruction manual here. Okay, and now let's take a close-up look at the actual infrared thermometer. Okay, now let's see if we can uh, find a way to put some batteries in there to get it to work. Okay, so it takes a 9 volt battery, which I happen to have on standby here. It's a rechargeable 9 volt battery here. And let's pop that in there and put it in the right orientation and close the grip there and let's see if we can turn it on okay so it's turned on i'm not quite sure how i need to uh, try that again Okay, so that toggles between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit, that red button there with the C slash F. And you can see there's a red dot uh, for guiding where you're measuring. Okay, so that, that button on the left, that gray button, gives you that uh, red dot. Okay, and um, let's see what this right button does. So the button on the right turns on and off the backlight to the screen. Um, but let's see if I can get it to turn off again. Obviously, I'll need to read the instructions to understand how to uh, turn on or off this infrared thermometer. Okay, so it's turned itself off. Uh, without me doing anything, uh, so it's just shut itself down. Let's see if we can 
start it up again. So I'm going to press that trigger there. And so it's come on again just by me simply pressing the trigger. So, so let's try and measure a few things. Okay, so yeah, it's trigger activated. Me pressing these buttons does not wake it up at all. So it stays off. Okay, so I'm going to press that or pull the trigger. So it's come back to life now. And let's measure a few things quickly. So I'm pressing and holding on the actual table itself. So it's showing me 13.7 degrees and 13.7, 7, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.7. So the degree of accuracy on this thermometer from the specs that I've read is negative 1.5 degrees Celsius to plus 1.5. Uh, so it has that three degree uh, margin of error there. And the range for this model, the GM550, is negative 50 degrees Celsius to 550 degrees Celsius. So that's quite a huge range. So you can measure a lot of things from being very cold sub-zero degrees uh, to something extremely hot um, so which is quite useful so you could be measuring um, your car's exhaust or engine or um, a fish tank i've got a few things by my side uh, just to test things out very simply uh, so i've got this fruit juice here which i brought out from the fridge some moments ago let's see if we can get a read on that So it's showing 7.4 degrees Celsius, 7.2, and so I'm just seeing, so it is um, a real time detector there. So I'm ho holding the trigger and I'm moving about. So it gives me the temperature for where I'm pointing at. So there we go. So when I release, it shows the um, last temperature, I believe. So there we go. Um, let's try a bottle of tap water, which I've used, um, which I filled up in the same type of fruit juice bottle. So it's 12.9 degrees there. And 7.7 .7 degrees, 7.6 on the uh, refrigerated bottle. So yeah, it's pretty cool that you could um, measure a lot of things. Let's measure my palm. Twenty five degrees. And I've actually got my ecosphere here as well on my right here. Let's see if we can measure that. But obviously you want to point to a surface where um, the beam does not uh, pass through. So there we go. So just to be sure, we can always baseline against the surface you're resting the, um, uh, the item on. So let's say I point it at the table. It's 14.0, 14.0, yep. And then moving across onto the actual ecosphere, enclosed ecosystem there. So it's 17.2. So that's the GM550 infrared thermometer. Thanks for watching and happy measuring.